One technique to help your audience navigate multi-page PDFs is to insert links into your documents. In this case, we're going to use the table of contents to create links to where we can click on these words in the table of contents to jump directly to those sections. We're going to do this by going to our Edit PDF Tools, and then we'll click on the link and Add Edit a web or document link. In this case, it's going to be a document link that helps us move to a different section of our document. We'll click here, and the first thing we're going to do is just create a rectangle around the information uh, that we want to click on. It can be any of this. We'll use part zero, project introduction, or uh, the number four for page four in this document. Now it creates uh, or opens up this dialog, the create link dialog, and what we're going to do is we're just going to choose an invisible rectangle. We don't want it to show up just if you hover your mouse over it a hand will appear and you can actually click on it. Uh, the highlight style is also going to be none and the link action is going to go to a page view. You, know, you can see there's a bunch of different options here but we're going to stick to the go to a page view uh, as this option here. We'll click next and it's going to allow us to scroll through the page that we want to set uh, as the link or the destination when you click on this. So we'll go to the project introduction we'll say set link. Now we can continue to do this and we'll do this for multiple areas in the table of contents. We'll drag a box here. We'll keep all the same settings and say next and then just scroll down to this section as well and say set link. We can continue this for the rest of the document here uh, but just for these purposes we're going to go ahead and click close. And When you do you'll notice the boxes go away. As we mentioned if you hover over them this hand appears I should have click on it and actually go to this document. We'll scroll back up and we can click here as well. You can do this most notably in the table of contents is probably the more obvious place to do it, but also all throughout the document, even with hyperlinks that will take you to uh, different destinations, uh, web pages that you might have linked into this for future information or additional information on the topic. This can be a really great tool in helping your audience navigate through a multi-page PDF.